Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas was warmly welcomed in Beijing when he met President Xi Jinping. Abbas is the first Arab leader to visit China this year. Beijing says it wants to play an active role in promoting peace between Palestine and Israel. The two sides marked the visit by announcing a strategic partnership. China is one of the first countries to recognize the Palestine Liberation Organization and the State of Palestine. With the personal commitment of President Xi and President Abbas, China-Palestine relations has sustained sound momentum of growth in recent years. The political trust between the two countries has grown. The visit comes as China looks to expand its influence in the Middle East, a region where the presence of the United States has waned in recent years. U.S.-led Israel-Palestine talks have been deadlocked since 2014. On Wednesday, Xi put forward a three-point peace proposal. It includes the establishment of an independent Palestinian state, bolstering economic aid and convening a peace conference. China is just stepping up and initiating. China has high economic stakes in the region. China is emerging as a, as a global leader in factors that are of interest to the Middle Eastern region as well. And uh, I think we've seen a gradual change in the perceptions about China. In March, Beijing successfully brokered a rapprochement between Saudi Arabia and Iran, ending a seven-year diplomatic rift. It's trying to do the same between Ukraine and Russia, assigning an envoy to push for dialogue to end the war. But little progress has been made, with neither side willing to cede territory. Beijing wants to portray itself as a global peacemaker and a reliable partner that understands the needs of developing countries. Meeting with Mahmoud Abbas is an opportunity for Xi Jinping to increase his clout in the Middle East, expanding Chinese influence and investment. At a conference in Riyadh this week, Business leaders signed 30 deals worth more than $10 billion. China is already the region's biggest buyer of crude oil and is looking to build new infrastructure as part of its Belt and Road Initiative. But not everyone is happy. Washington has warned that Beijing's growing influence poses a threat to the rule-based international order. Katrina Yu, Al Jazeera, Beijing.